I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us on this Wednesday. And we start with the Fox News alert. At this hour, the wife of ISIS leader al Baghdadi, the wife is being questioned in Lebanon. This just one day after officials captured her crossing into the country from Syria. Joining us live from Washington with the breaking details on this is Leland Vitter. Good morning to you, Leland. What do we know? This is shocking to everybody. Well, Elizabeth, good morning. Certainly a big development. So far, the Pentagon is only issuing a non-denial confirmation of the capture and refusing to say much about what appears to be on its surface, at least, a Lebanese military operation to capture the wife of al-Baghdadi and his child. The historically secretive and reclusive Baghdadi reportedly has multiple wives, and which one this is is still in question. Also, this raises questions of who exactly this woman is. At least one U.S. official reportedly suggested it could be an ex-wife, which could explain why she was in Lebanon. On the other hand, it's known that the woman has close ties to al-Baghdadi. People in his inner circle hold significant power within ISIS leadership ranks, including women. So there could be some other reasons for her whereabouts. He's the recognized leader of ISIL and um, the uh, command and control of the, of the organization, which stems from leadership. Um, makes makes him uh, valid in our in our in our uh, minds from a targeting perspective um, and I just won't go beyond that I'm not going to talk about a Lebanese military operation some tap dancing as you saw by the Pentagon spokesman in the past little while a spokesman for the Iraqi interior minister said this woman while an Iraqi national is not the terror leader's wife and while the Lebanese are reportedly holding this woman and her child she could offer some very valuable intelligence to the U.S. teams leading the fight against ISIS including firsthand information about the leader his habits where he lives how he works all things needed to build a targeting profile. Also, the child in this could be key as they could provide the necessary DNA to match against in the event of a strike to prove that the U.S. indeed got their man if they ever have Baghdadi in their sights. Back to you, Elizabeth. Great points, Leman. Thank you for bringing all of that to us this morning. Gosh, that DNA evidence could be powerful. Powerful could be very helpful. Right well, uh, here's the thing, Zarqawi, we got his wife. Yep. Uh, she didn't talk. We gave him back. Uh, we Zarqawi got his wife back and then killed her. Uh, that's pretty much the same mentality we're dealing with today. Well, yeah. let's see what happens with this. Meanwhile...